It's the Traveler and Paimon. Hello, you two. It's been a long time. Were you having a really serious discussion right now or something? Just a regular catch-up. We meet here once in a while to go through any recent developments in our research projects. Ugh, so we just missed him. Maybe we should have hollered to him. He didn't look in the best of moods just now, though. Was he upset about something? If so, he probably wouldn't have been in the mood to help out anyway. Huh, upset? You mean Albedo? Yeah, he wasn't looking his usual self. Upset? Uh-oh, I wonder if... What are you looking at me for? I wonder if Timaeus' research topic is... is so boring that Albedo finally snapped. Surely not. It's not that boring, is it? <laughs> nah. Anyway, Paimon wanted to ask you for a favor, Timaeus. A favor? <laughs> well, well, sure. How can I help? Well, Paimon found a bunch of super duper sweet sensetias in the mountains the other day. But if Paimon eats them all, then they'll all be gone. So Paimon isn't ready to finish them all yet. Paimon was thinking maybe you could make a device that you put fruits in and it turns them into juice. That way, they'll be preserved for as long as Paimon needs! Oh, yeah, I'm afraid that sort of thing is a little... Uh... Huh? Seems pretty straightforward to Paimon. Can't you do it? <laughs> Paimon, I I'm afraid you've entered into the realm of the weird and wonderful with this one. <sighs> okay... Sucrose, any idea? I'm sorry. It doesn't sound like it falls within my area of expertise. I could give it a try if you really want, but... I'd probably just end up giving all your precious fruits arms and legs. Whoa, your tone is so calm, but your words are so terrifying. Huh, you'd think I'd be used to this by now. Well, as you know, my focus is on bioalchemy. Besides, keeping things fresh forever is just not possible. If you just wanted to modify certain properties of the fruit or their seeds, on the other hand, I'd easily be able to help with that. Alchemists usually focus in on their own research areas. Take us, for example. Timaeus, Albedo, and I all have very different research foci. Paimon, your idea is very imaginative, but it's beyond Timaeus's and my ability. I don't think even Albedo can make such an incredible device. After all, alchemy is not mechanics. There is a big difference between the two. Huh? Well, excuse Paimon for overestimating the power of alchemy! In fact, before Albedo showed up, everyone in Mondstadt thought alchemy was useless. Of course, we know better now. But even then, I have to admit, alchemy is only one of the many wondrous arts in the world. It's certainly not some kind of all-powerful magic that can simply take a substance and preserve it indefinitely. Oh, of course, these are just Timaeus's and my subjective opinions on the matter. If you're really intent on pursuing this wondrous device, you can try your luck asking Albedo. But I wouldn't get your hopes up. If he has no idea how to make one either, you'll have to give up on the idea. Oh, he doesn't seem to be in a good mood today, though. What if he ignores us? He won't. Albedo is not that kind of person. Dragonspine? Unless he specifically says otherwise, Dragonspine is where he usually goes. He seems particularly fond of that place. And somehow, the cold doesn't seem to bother him at all. Then let's go to Dragonspine to find him! Come on, there's no time to lose! Looks lively. What's the occasion? Let's go and have a look! Hey, Traveler and Paimon! Fancy meeting you all the way out here! Amber? Cyrus? Hallard? What's everyone doing at Dragonspine? Don't you mind the cold? Oh? The Traveler is joining us too! 
<laughs> Great! Fantastic! Wonderful! <laughs> the more, the merrier. I agree. I feel much better with the Traveler joining us. Definitely the kind of person you want to have around in a tight spot. Oh, right! Paimon remembers most of these people are from the Adventurers Guild. Uh, then again, it seems a certain Outrider is joined too. <laughs> Allow me to explain. The Adventurers Guild is holding winter training on Dragonspine. As you know, our members have varying levels of adventure experience. Dragonspine is an excellent place for budding adventurers to challenge themselves and improve. But it's dangerous to go alone. So, we made a plan for senior members to pair up with junior members. This way, everyone can experience training on Dragonspine together under safe and controlled circumstances. Now, every adventurer can progress together. I have been working on this grand plan for half a year now, and it's finally coming together! <laughs> it's a great plan, isn't it? Hey, you are an outstanding adventurer. Surely... Is the Adventurer's Guild short on experienced members? Well, that's part of it, actually. The other reason is, when I was patrolling the perimeter of Dragonspine, I found a lost kid named Joel. I heard he lives here on the camp, so I escorted him back. I know. Joel's father went missing. I totally sympathize with how much Joel misses his family. Dragonspine is so bleak and deserted. It must have been so lonely for him here. Aww, Amber. Anyway, I wanted to do something to cheer Joel up, so I said I'd build a snowman with him. It's something he enjoys doing. It also gives me a chance to stay here for a while and help Cyrus out. Aw, really? Thank you. Let's go meet up with Joel then. Oh, I invited another friend of mine to join too. She should be here any second. She'll be perfect for this kind of thing. Hey, Cyrus, we've got to take off. Is that okay? No problem. Go ahead. I still have some final checks to make, so I will call you before we depart. Hey, Joel, we're here. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. It's nice to have so many people to hang out with. Are you here to build a snowman, too? Build a snowman? Oh, sorry. I forgot to do the introductions. This is Eula, the Spindrift Knight and captain of the Knights of Favonius Reconnaissance Company. Amber, you're being far too formal. The child is never going to remember all that. Please, just call me Eula. <laughs> okay, Auntie Eula. You can call me Joel. Auntie... Eula? Uh-oh. Eula's gonna add that to her long list of scores to settle. All right. If that's what you want to call me, go right ahead. Whoa! You let just let something go for once? Amber, what's this I hear about a snowman? I came to assist because you told me the Adventurer's Guild was short-handed. Yeah, that's something else. But look, Joel's at the age where he should be having fun, and there's nothing to play with on Dragonspine. He used to build snowmen with his dad, and since his dad's not around, we're keeping him company instead. Besides, Eula, it's gotta be more fun than taking an ice bath all by yourself. <laughs> Let's combine our forces and build ourselves a huge snowman. Yep, yep! Count Paimon in too! Paimon wants to build a snowman! <sighs> and Eula, are you too busy to join in? If so, it's okay, I understand. <sighs> no, nothing like that. My mind was on something else, that's all. Building a snowman. Then let's get started. First, we need to split up into teams to gather some supplies. Joel and I will be on one team. You and Eula can be on the other team. Hey, Joel, see that huge tree over there? Want to race me there? Yeah, let's do it. Wow, those two are fast. It's hard to tell which 
Which of them is having more fun? Hey, what's up with you two? Why are you just staring at each other without saying anything? Um... Well... <clears throat> Joel probably hasn't spent much of his life in the city. He doesn't know me. And he doesn't know what the Lawrence name means to the people in Mondstadt. Right. That's why he calls you Auntie Eula. True. In his eyes, I'm just another ordinary person from Mondstadt. It was a surprise, but not in a bad way at all. Hmph. <laughs> How very perceptive of you. Were you staring at me the whole time when everyone was talking? You shan't be getting off lightly for that. The truth is, I'm a little concerned that I might be quite inept at building snowmen. I have never built a snowman before. My upbringing was very strict, so I never had the chance when I was a child. And after I grew up, of course, it's not the sort of thing I would spend my time doing. Oh, no! Paimon's starting to feel sorry for you, uh... You sound confident. <laughs> All right, then. Enough small talk for now. I see we have a member of the Adventurers Guild joining us. Greetings. We have a slight problem here. We've done a head count, and it turns out that we have an odd number of participants. In other words, we still have one instructor slot left to fill. How it happened was, we originally asked Fischl to be an instructor, but she was busy with something outside of Mondstadt during this period. So, we found another adventurer to fill in for her, but they still haven't shown up yet. Thank goodness you are here. <sighs> oh, hello. My name is Gerald. I'm a new adventurer. Hmm. In that case... <sighs> Fine. But for that, you will pay. Huh? Pay for what? Okay. I got it. I'm ready and willing to learn. Good, good. Then everything is settled. Thank you for your help, Yula. If anybody else signs up later, I may have to ask for your help as well. Why did you give the spot to Yula? <laughs> You're so nice. Paimon noticed you a smile just now. It must have meant a lot to her. To be honest, Eula really is the best candidate for an instructor. Most people would find it hard to cope on the mountain because of the sheer cold, but not her! Oh, now Paimon gets it. This must be the whole reason why Amber got Eula involved in the first place. Um, we were supposed to find supplies, but now Eula's busy with other stuff, and, uh... Paimon doesn't feel like going around collecting things. How do you think Amber and Joel are doing? Let's head up the mountain and see what they're up to! Strange. Didn't they say they were going this way? Where the heck are they? Did we get here too late? Have they moved on already? Brings you to Dragonspine. Oh, so it was Albedo all along. All along. Oh, what do you mean by that? On the way here, we kept hearing weird noises, and it felt like someone was watching us the whole time. Turns out it was just you. Honestly, you really gave us the creeps. 
If you're bored up here, go find something useful to do. Don't go sneaking around scaring the poop out of people. The things you felt and heard could easily be attributed to animals or bandits, perhaps. You should be wary at all times in this environment. There are all too many ways to sustain losses here if you aren't careful. So, what business brought you here? We actually came to look for you! But then it turned into looking for Amber, but now we've met you, so we're back to that again. Hmm. Your thought process is rather chaotic, as is the way in which you articulate it. Oh, is that so? Then it must surely be something of great importance. I'm all ears. He seems to be in a better mood than we thought, right? Does that mean Timaeus' stupidity doesn't really get to him after all? Huh. Okay, let's... Let's just forget that ever came up. That's okay if you can't tell me about it. Just treat this as an opportunity to stroll on the mountain and enjoy the view. The truth is, we're here on adventurer duty. Ah, oh, I see. So, you foisted the rookie off onto Eula, so that you could wander off and, uh, goof around? We're not goofing around! And Eula was the right person for the job! We were just being nice. What about you then, huh? What are you doing on Dragon Spine? A friend commissioned me to do some artwork recently, and I have yet to finish. I came here because it's a quiet place where I can gather my thoughts, gather inspiration, and gather some raw materials while I'm at it. Raw materials? For what? Paint. Star silver can be used to make high-quality silver paint. I just ran out of my previous batch, so I'll collect some ore while I'm here. Ore can be used to make paint? Yes. But you have to be selective with the specimens you choose. Even with a high level of impurities, star silver still contains fine silver-colored particles. But they lack luster, which impacts the color saturation of the pigment made from them. Paint made with such pigment is generally viewed as a fake or a defective product. Interesting. So... Paint aside, can you talk about how you find inspiration? Paima wants to learn! You want to learn to paint? No, no, not for me, for the Traveler! Paima wants the Traveler to learn how to paint. During our travels, we sometimes have nights where there's nothing to do. It sure be nice to do something memorable rather than just sit around. Painting is a great example because it can capture a moment in time. So it seems like it's definitely a worthwhile skill to have. Yep, why not? Once you mastered it, you can paint Paimon! Not a bad idea. Well, since you two would like to learn more about painting, why don't you come with me to the campsite? I have painting materials there. You can practice while I give you some guidance. She is a night. Come on, let's go! It's so cold out. Hyma wants to get to the camp and warm up by the fire. Some things are missing. Nothing valuable, hopefully. Wait, where's Paimon's Bora? It's hard to say their value, but... Some of my alchemy notes are missing. Alchemy notes? Would they fetch a high price? To the uninitiated, they are merely scraps of paper. But for someone who knows what they're doing... The knowledge... So you're saying only someone who knows alchemy would have stolen them? But the only people who come to Dragonspine are... I feel the same way. However, hilly trail break-ins and other such incidents are not unheard of on Dragonspine. It's difficult to draw a conclusion based solely on the evidence at hand. <sighs> 
Hmm. These appear to be... Footprints? Fresh ones. Meaning our thief can't have made it far. Let's chase him down! We can't let them get away! From the entrance, the footprints go that way. Here, more footprints. They're heading to the cavern. Ooh, we got you now. You sure can run, but you definitely can't hide. Let's go in. Wait, I have an idea. I'll go in alone. Traveler, please stay here and guard the entrance. This cavern has two points of entry. And Cut him off at both ends. Good idea. Whoever apprehends the thief first has to notify the other party. This way we're fully covered. Still, safety comes first. We do not yet know the identity of our thief. Please take care. We'll be fine. <sighs> okay. See you shortly. Of course. I wonder if Albedo found the thief. This is... really? Feels like, why don't we find something to do to pass the time? You know, something like... Um... Oh! Look at all that star silver over there! It's right next to the cavern! Yay! Let's... <laughs> huh. This stuff looks kinda lackluster. Is that because of the impurities like Albedo is talking about? Sorry. I was unable to catch him. He was faster than I'd imagined. Oh. oh. So after all that, still, we won't be going back completely. Uh, mining? Yeah, for star silver. Look, it's just like you said. Some are really bright and shiny. Star silver. Uh, <laughs> I was merely saying what was on the front of my mind. I hadn't thought you would... Well, you said they can be turned into paint, so we got pretty... Also, if it weren't for that thief, we'd be making paint by now anyway, right? Anyway, it's all the thief's fault for wasting our time. Yes, it's all the thief's fault. The notes mean a lot to me. I'm not quite ready to give up the search yet. Let's keep an eye out for clues as we go. There's no point in bringing the bad ones back if it'll ruin the quality of the paint. Mm, some of them do look... <sighs> Indeed. The sorting process is necessary. Humans are such practical creatures. They only want those things that are good. Once they have learned to distinguish between good and bad, they will never stop comparing things in their minds. Useless things should be disposed of at the outset. Right! Saves a lot of time that way. Efficiency first. So, let's start by... Help! Help me! Wait! Did you guys hear that? Was that... It's likely an adventurer in danger! Okay! This is definitely coming from around here. Is anybody there? Help me! No way! Is that? Hmm? Huh? Is that the Traveler and Paimon? It's me, Bennett! Whoa! It's really him! Let's get him out! So sorry to trouble you guys again. The key should be someplace nearby. Please, help... Oh, finally, I'm out. Thank you so much. If only there hadn't been rocks mixed in with the snow on the tree, it wouldn't have made me all dizzy when it fell down onto my head. 
and then I would have never walked into the Fatui's trap. Bennett? In a cage? Never saw that coming. <laughs> I won't bore you with the rest of the details. Just me being unlucky. Yep, taking them out was child's play. No need to thank us. You did? <laughs> That's so nice of you guys. I know they were probably just following orders. But still, thanks for helping me out. So what are you doing on Dragonspine? Didn't Razor want to come with you? They're hosting a winter camp here. As one of their veteran adventurers, I'm here to help out the rookies. Razor is not an adventurer. And as the leader of Benny's adventure team, as well as the only actual member, I had to come on my own. But now I've been stuck here for so long, I probably missed it. Oh, I hope so. Wait, so that guy Gerald who got left in the lurch, he was supposed to be paired up with you? If so, sorry, Bennett, but you really did miss it. He got paired up with a different instructor instead. What? Weren't they short on instructors? Where'd they suddenly get extras from? A few people from the Knights of Avonia stepped up in order to help support the event, so they ended up with more instructors than students. Knights of Favonius. Oh, yeah, they're definitely more reliable than me. Right, right. Anyway, that was just the situation when we last saw them. It might have changed by now. Who knows? Maybe a whole load more rookies will have turned up to join in. Besides, after all the trouble you've gone to show up as an instructor, Paimon sure Cyrus will put you to work. Really? For sure. Hey, wait a second. Where'd Albedo go? Albedo? You mean the alchemist from the Knights of Avonius? He's one of the instructors too? No, he just happened to be on Dragonspine. We were just with him, but then we heard you calling for help. He must have left us at some point after that. Hmm. Could he have gone back to keep looking for clues? Let's go back to the cavern and see if he's there. Still no sign of Albedo. This is weird. Where has he run off to? This is great. Dragon Spine's so fun today. There's so many people around. It's never usually like this. This was where we heard Bennett's cry for help, right? We heard his voice and went straight over to rescue him. Then we noticed Albedo was gone. Huh. So he just... didn't feel like helping us save Bennett? Wait, what? What are you talking about? Oh, Albedo? Where the heck have you been? We've been looking for you! I should be the one to ask you that. Didn't I tell you to stay at the cavern entrance? I'm not really following who was waiting for who and who was looking for who, but first things first. I apologize, Albedo. I don't fully understand what's going on, but it seems like it's mostly my fault. No, no. Bennett, this is not because of you. You needn't blame yourself. Traveler, clear this up for me. What was the reason that you left the cavern entrance? Did you... There you are. Stay right there. You have a lot of explaining to do. What? Me? Huh? You, huh? Aren't you supposed to be helping the new guy? <laughs> yes, that's what I would be doing if I hadn't been interrupted by a certain someone's malicious scheming. Albedo, I saw you taking Jewel towards the wasteland at the edge of Dragonspine. That place is crawling with monsters. What the devil do you think you were doing? Uh... Whoa, 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 wait a second. What's going on? Actually, wrong question. How much stuff is going on? When I came to stop you from leading Joel any further, your first reaction was to throw the child down and attack me. When I fought back, you quickly fled. Care to explain? Uh... Huh. I see. Interesting. Interesting? You, uh... 
It sounds like you met an imposter. Someone who was impersonating me. Impersonating you? To what end? It is difficult to draw a definitive conclusion for now. But these... Your alchemy notes were stolen. Can the Traveler and Paimon testify that the three of you were together up until you entered the cavern? Yes, we can confirm that. As things stand, I don't have any reason to harm the child. Whoever you met is likely to be both a thief who stole my notes, and also an imposter. Of course, it's entirely natural for you to be skeptical of my story. I was separated from the Traveler and Paimon for a significant duration while we were pursuing the thief. My word alone cannot serve as a definitive account of my actions and whereabouts during that period. But the Traveler and Paimon can at least testify that I was not the individual who tore up the campsite or stole my notes. Albedo, do you have any enemies? Could it be one of your enemies impersonating you to get revenge on you or something? I don't have any enemies. And I'm not aware of having given anyone cause to exact vengeance upon me. There is insufficient evidence to assert what happened with any certainty at this point. Given how serious the situation is, I intend to investigate it myself, even if you decide not to pursue it any further. Yula, I won't discourage your ongoing suspicion of me if you can't believe my story. Though, naturally, I would hope you can afford me some credibility on account of our solidarity as fellow members of the Knights of Avonius. Traveler? Paimon, Bennett, if you are willing, I welcome you to monitor my activities beyond this point so that you can act as my witnesses. If I am what this imposter wants, he will come looking for me again eventually. Things can only become clearer from that point on. <sighs> I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, as preposterous as your claims sound, and I will choose to believe that an imposter went after Joel, and not you. I will keep Joel safe. If you need any support with the investigation, contact myself and Amber. You have my gratitude. As far as Amber goes, I will... Eula! Eula! Where are you? Amber, we're here! Eula! Oh, and Traveler, Paimon, Albedo, and Bennett, you're all together. Great. Bennett, I'm glad I ran into you here. Cyrus was telling me you still hadn't shown up. He was getting worried you might have run into some trouble. <laughs> yeah, for your concern. Sure thing. Well, now that I found you, let's go check in with Cyrus. Uh, but before that, has something come up? How come you're all gathered here together? Need any help? Between us, there have been a few minor incidents, but nothing I haven't already dealt with. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's my fault, really. All because of my bad luck. But everything is fine now. So, it's all set then? Great! Shall we head back down together? I did say I'd bring Bennett back if I saw him. Sure, I'm ready to go. <sighs> Very well. Let's go. And then there were three. Traveler? Can we talk somewhere else? There, let's go to my camp. My camp is somewhere that we can talk openly, without reservation. But, before that... Wow! What a mess! Thank you. I appreciate it. I've been absorbed in my research lately and haven't attended to the dusting. It's due for a cleaning. Yep, that should do it. Neat. Thank you. Both now that everything is in order. You look really serious right now. <sighs> I remember I once told you that you must have questions, and then I would answer them. I also said that 
While I did not wish to deceive you, there were certain things I could not go into detail on. <clears throat> I am a synthetic human being. A human forged by human hand. The one who created me, my mother and teacher. Her name is Ryan Daughter, a researcher from Conria, also known as Gold. A synthetic human? What the... How the heck does that work? When the pinnacle of attainment in alchemy is combined with unimaginably vast learning, the apex achievement is the creation of human life. When you say Conria, do you mean... I am indeed somewhat older than my appearance might suggest. But when I came into being, Conria had already been destroyed. I have no memories of it. My master raised me and taught me everything. Like her, I am a pure alchemist. I live for academic knowledge. Nationality and identity are not what ultimately define us. Traveler, what is your general feeling toward Dragonspine? You've visited numerous times now. Would you say it's a cold, eerie, and melancholy place? Rhyndaughter created two miraculous beings. One is me, and the other is the venomous dragon, Durin, who died here. Durin? So that makes you guys... brothers? As sons of Rhyndaughter, Durin and I are indeed inextricably linked to one another. The phenomenon of our creation defies definition within the scope of a typical human worldview. But if we may tentatively call it birth, then yes, we, by extension, are family. Um, speaking of Durin, Paima remembers that his power was quite special. That's right. Because of this, whenever strange things happen on Dragonspine, it always makes me wonder. For instance, the feeling of being watched that you described, as well as the sounds you heard. Oh, right! Paimon knows what you mean! When you and the others were here just now, the Traveler gave me a look as if to say, don't say anything. Probably because it would only make you more suspicious, so Paimon kept quiet. But Paimon noticed that you came out of the cavern not too long after going in, and you told us that you didn't manage to catch the thief. Then, we heard Bennett calling for help, so we went to rescue him. But strangely, you didn't come with us. And when we got back to the cavern to go find you, suddenly you were the one looking for us. So, it seems that you met my imposter too. Well, if so, it was a pretty good impression. He had you down to a T. We never would have guessed. Also, after he left us, why did he go after Joel? Perhaps Durin's power drives people to madness. But that's merely crude conjecture. Whether someone is impersonating me or there is another false me out there, this is a cursed tale, and it is not one whose weight you should have to bear. Traveler, perhaps you should return to Mondstadt if you have no further business here. The work that lies ahead will occupy me completely. Wouldn't be very nice now, would it? Besides, there's no one else in Mondstadt that you can talk to about this. Sucrose and Demaeus don't know your... secret. Yeah, don't push us away at a time like this! Alright, thank you. You were intending to participate in that winter camp, if I recall correctly. That could serve as an excellent pretext for you to remain... In that case... Please join in the activities of the Adventurer's Guild, as planned. And be on the lookout for any leads while you're at it. If anyone sees me, or someone like me... We'll be sure to pass the info straight on to you! Good. Then we're agreed. Okay, 
Let's split up to look for clues. Then meet back here at this camp in a few days' time. Sounds good to me. But please, whatever happens, put your safety first at all times. Time for a quick snack.